Sometimes when working in Unity, you'll want to detect collisions between objects that aren't actually colliding using their colliders. You can do this with ray casting. Ray casting is simply casting a line or a vector from one point to another in the 3D world and checking if it intersects other colliders or objects. In this scene, I have a box that simply falls down onto the ground with a rigid body component. And I want to check when it gets to a certain distance from the ground by casting a ray from the box going downwards in the world and uh, intersecting with whatever happens to be in its way. So what I'll do is create a JavaScript and I'll call this Raycaster and open it up and we have to check this in the update function because it needs to check every single frame so we'll do that all the time. So the first thing I'll do is establish a variable which I'm going to call up and the reason I'm doing this is to establish a direction for this ray to be cast in. So I'll say transform.transform .transform direction and I'll use a shortcut. So instead of saying vector three, um, you know, and then the three x, y, and z, you can say vector three dot up. Is a shortcut for saying uh, zero, one, zero, so up in the y axis. So what I can do is then say if physics dot raycast and into that function we need to pass several bits of information. So first of all, where that line is going to start. So we'll start it at the position of the object we attach this script to. So transform.position, just the position of the box. Then we need to put in the direction. So instead of going up in the y-axis, I can put in a minus next to that variable name up that I just established in order to point downwards. Then I can say uh, the length of the ray, so we might say 10 units. Then, because we've established a set of brackets here, we need to do the same for the overall if statement, so we need another bracket on the end. Then we'll open up the if statement for whatever we want to put inside it. So we'll start off by just saying debug.log hit and we'll save that, switch back to Unity and apply it to the box. So now when that box reaches 10 units from the floor, you'll see hit appear in the console like that. So to illustrate that further, we'll go back to our script and we can add in another debug function called draw ray. Now this has nothing to do with the actual ray casting, but it allows us to see where the ray is occurring in the editor rather than in the game. So I can say debug.draw ray and again we'll need the position and also the direction and length. They're written slightly differently in uh, draw ray. We'll say how many meters it's going from that direction. So downwards times 10 will be the same as our ray cast. So we're designing it to, to mimic what the actual ray cast is doing. And then we simply feed it a color. So using the color class and shortcut green. So I finished that off. We'll save it and switch back to Unity. And this time we'll see in the scene view that debug ray, so a visual representation of the line. So what I'm going to do is just switch into one of the side views so we can see that more effectively. So when I press play, that green line is our draw ray. And you can see that when it hits 10, hit appears in the console. So Another way that we could represent that is to actually check uh, when that occurs and actually perform something. So let's, for example, remove the rigid body component. So we use the destroy command and we'll say get component rigid body. So this time when it reaches 10, it's going to remove the rigid body. So it's going to halt because it hasn't got that gravity applied to it anymore. So if I save that, switch back. the box stops at 10. So not only can you check um, whether something's intersecting with another object, you can also check against actual objects. And to do that, you need to feed in another parameter into uh, the mix of the actual ray cast. So it's another variable which we'll establish at the top. And you might want to call it something like hit. And it's of type raycast hit. Okay, so this is a class of information you can draw certain things from, such as 
the particular collider that your raycast is hitting. So into our raycast, then we might say if hit dot collider dot game object dot name is equal to floor, which is the name of our floor in the scene. Only then are we going to destroy the rigid body. Okay, so you can reference hit there, but crucially, you have to place it into the actual raycast as well. So after the direction, placing the name of that variable before the length. Okay, so you can also lose the actual length and actually check hit as a class for the distance. Um, but you can have a look at that in the script reference. So let's just see that one more time. It's going to hit the floor and it's going to remove the rigid body because it's checking for that name. So if I press play, the box falls down, it detects the floor and the rigid body is no longer on the object. So that's the basics of raycasting.